Hey everyone, this is Uthers. Welcome back to Windward. Uh, the goal for this episode is to try and upgrade from our small, dinky little ship to probably the next tier, which will be probably a sloop of war. Again, small ship, but it is going to be imperative to keep moving up through the different tiers and regions. The um, Also, we're going to have to start working on the towns and doing quests for them to hopefully get some money for the upgrades. I would like to get some green quality gear at some point. It's very reminiscent of an MMO in terms of I believe this is how this works. Again, I haven't played too much of this game that you can tell the quality by the color of the gear. So there's like green and blue quality items that you can find. Uh, we actually just found a sale embroidery um, which would replace our dragon that's on our sale. And I kind of like the dragon a lot. So I'm going to keep it for now. Uh, let's just go ahead and sit inside the dock. It's nice and cozy in there. We can sell the embroidery though. And then look into the, this town that we just captured. No real good items. They're not selling anything. They're just selling a bunch of uh, supply crates. This is actually what we're going to buy now. And um, we now have an upgraded ship. It's basically the same looking. It does a little bit more damage, of course. Its base stats are higher. But it has two uh, front triangle sails. So there's pretty much no pirates left uh, to kill. They do have some residual, uh, looks like the control, a lookout tower there. And then that's about it. A little annoyed that there's still a red town here. But we should be almost a high enough level to leave this zone and go to the level 9 region. And Empire just took a town, so we're going to have to take that back as well. Tomorrow, I'm going to AwesomeCon. It's a DC uh, comic book convention. Uh, George Takai is going to be there. William Shatner is going to be there. It's going to be a pretty cool experience. Get to see a bunch of people dressed up in costumes. Uh, I don't have an outfit to wear this year. Um, I haven't been to one of these since high school. So going to be a pretty cool experience. Hopefully you get to see some pretty cool merchandise as well. So we're just going to capture the next place. Nice thing about the upgraded sloop, we have three inventory spaces now for three cargo or three different quests. Um, what's this do? Okay. So showing effectiveness basically allows us to see the percentage uh, that we're at. Anything over 100% of course is going to be nice. Our speed is slightly lowered. Uh, it could just be because we have a larger ship now. Probably weighs a little bit more than the last one. Also we don't really have many upgrades in terms of crew and sails to go on so that's probably affecting it. Talent-wise, I'm trying to get some maneuverability, accuracy, and damage. Uh, I feel like that's a good way to go combat. And then I think what I want to get is uh, the damage of volley increase because volley is our highest damage ability at the moment. We don't have any of the other ones unlocked. So just increasing our base constant damage overall raises your DPS. Um, it's fairly common for games like these to have things like that. Space Engineers, I'm still working on the frigate. And that's going to take a couple days. I really wanted to get the frigate done 100% uh, before I make another episode of it. It's a bit of a pain to do so. It is a very large ship. And since I'm not going to be here most of the day Saturday... Uh, that's just going to push it back. You know, that's why I'm recording this. 
because I was working on the frigate most of the day for a couple hours, but I don't really have much to show beyond just uh, some heavy armor here and there. I haven't even thought about thruster placement yet or anything like that. I don't even know how I want the access point to get in and out of the ship to work. Um, that's going to be a challenge by itself. Die. Cool. The pirates have been driven out of this region. Uh, that's an awesome thing. Let me go ahead and repair here, I guess. Uh, pick up cargo, ferry passengers, to rotten. And since these are both going to the same place, might as well do it. And we can hunt down a pirate at the same time. Are they selling anything good? Looks like it. So there's some green quality gear here. Uh, the sum, I guess, is basically the average quality. Um, and that would definitely be... By reaching the pirates taken over and harassing local populace, the call has gone out. Use the... Okay, so th this is just asking for to do a combat incident. Would give me 271 XP. Uh, that might be a good thing to do. So I'm going to buy these. As you can see, they also cost gold and resources that we've been collecting. I'm thinking getting all three of these because it will give us a bit of a nice boost we equip all these and then salvage everything else and we should be good to go our range decrease from using these new cannons but uh, yeah and since we got a quest to do a combat instance I guess I can show you guys that as well I've never done one it sounds just kind of like you start a temporary area to do a specific quest in. This one's a combat one, so it sounds like I just have to clear a region of pirates, just like we did here. Uh, just It doesn't show up on our global uh, map. Sailing, sailing down here to Rotten, which is... Yeah, we're right here now. Anything related to Hasbor in here? No. Doesn't look like it. But, we can take another fairy quest. They are fairly consistent in terms of gold making. Our pirate's in this direction too, so I'm going to kill him and then uh, return back to port. I also might record some naval action this weekend. It's a fun game. Uh, I don't know if pre-orders are open still, but basically it is an Age of Sail game, um, but you are actually controlling your ship a little bit more realistically than this. I mean, it's it's actually it's a third-person view of the ship still, but it's far more realistic. The damage model. And the version I have doesn't have the upgraded damage model yet, but my hopes for that game are very high. So, that's something to look forward to. I'll be showcasing another game here soon. Um, I think it's really fun. I really love the Age of Sail. I don't know a whole lot about it personally. I just love the concept of it. Um, same thing, reason why I like medieval things. Uh, I prefer a fantasy type thing. I do like sci-fi. I play Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous, I think, is one of my favorite games. Uh, I'm just kind of waiting for the next patch to come out. And when I live stream this weekend, we might be doing a bit of that. Uh, initially, some Elite Dangerous, because that's something I can just play and talk to you guys with uh, while people find the stream and join, or not. And then, from there, we'll probably just play some Warcraft 3 together. Maybe I'll I'll host Lost Loria for you all. Um, you can run around, maybe make some catapults and test the structure of it. If you guys want to do that, I think that'd be fun. It's definitely not like the main live stream event that I had planned originally. And that I'm waiting for 
you know, improvements with the servers and uh, just general gameplay itself. Oh, we got a, we just found a new crew. It's a bit of an upgrade. Uh, diplomacy goes down. Diplomacy affects like reputation gains and then also uh, how much money you get for trading. But damage goes up, critical goes up, accuracy. So this is definitely a combat oriented crew. So we'll swap them out in this harbor here. We can also sell crew for XP. And I think I'm going to do that. We are now level 7, which is good. Which is in keep increasing our damage, I suppose. I don't know what the max level is. So I'm probably spending my my uh, resources terribly. Uh, deliver cargo to whatever that place is. Sure. So we'll go to Hasbor, Arendelvor, see if there's anything to go to Fartenmire. Fartenmire? Is this is that seriously his name? Okay, cool. Fartenmire. There we go. And that's something I would name a town. Uh, they might be really good at making cheese. It could be. Let's see. What, what do they export? Uh, probably nat cheese or beans. Marble. Who would have thought? All right, everyone, I loaded up the instance for that one quest we received a little bit ago, and we're just gonna be working on clearing out this specific instance. I don't know what kind of ships we'll be facing. Uh, so far, it looks like we're just getting these small, tiny ones, which we can handle with ease with our upgraded ship, which is nice. I need to realize that when these things explode, it hurts me because I'm taking unnecessary damage by sitting right beside them like that. So let's see, does this place have any good quests for us? Passengers, passengers. Not really. Um, ships. Any good ships? So the next ship upgrade for us is going to be a little while. It's a Schooner. Definitely quite the upgrade. It's like almost 20 to every stat, maybe more. Which would be pretty cool. You guys selling anything? I think you have to clear a region to actually unlock town selling items. I could be wrong about that, but I haven't seen any items otherwise. going around trying to plant some buildings that way that can scout for us let us know pirates are going to try and take something we already own sounds like whoa we just found a captain floating in the water here bit of an upgrade not a whole lot but it's definitely nice We'll go ahead and capture this tower. And fight off this other pirate, I guess. And stay away from it. Good. Didn't take damage that time. Go ahead and start preparing here. Cloth dye to color our sails. Not an upgraded cannon. Ours is green quality, so. Alright. So, I just went ahead and finished clearing up and capturing all the towns. And guard houses like this. So, it looks like we did about 34,000 damage. We took about that much damage in doing so. Uh, captured. 204. I don't know what that means. I did not capture 204 different things. Uh, defended zero because nothing ever got attacked while I was around. Uh, 11 kills and gain 18 reputation for doing so. Which is pretty cool. So you pretty much have the option. You can either uh, 
quest here. And then return after a while if you want. Or you can just go ahead and return now. And I am going to do uh, these three last quests. And then probably call it an episode. We have upgraded our ship. We have also um, cleared two regions. We, we cleared one region in our actual uh, region map, and then also in this instance. Uh, we've gotten some upgrades, which is pretty cool. Who is this guy? Wow, that guy's a really good captain. Did we get that as a reward for finishing this? Maybe. That's pretty nice, though. I'm going to equip that guy. I mean, the stat comparison is not even close. So, let's see. Gonna go ahead, turn that in. Equip old man with pipe. Uh, sell our old captain. Pretty cool. Uh, going to Franker, so... Yeah, I got no quest that I want to do in that sense. We'll go up to Franker and call it an episode there once we return back to our normal region. And if you're asking what the meowing is, that's my cat. Totally my cat. He's hungry. It's his feeding time. see yeah that's that and we'll go back to civilized lands sweet all right thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed the video feel free to uh, leave me a like comment on what uh, you'd like to see next uh, I have some other videos if you guys want to see that if you're new uh, subscribe to my channel uh, the usual YouTube spiel that I'm sure you guys hear way too often but we say these just just because it's, it's just a reminder that we I appreciate pretty much every comment I read every comment uh, I'm basically watching my subscriber count like a stockbroker because I'm crazy and you know it, it makes me really happy that you guys are enjoying my videos so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next, next episode